have benefited from additional supplemental nutrition assistance program, SNAP, payments through the pandemic. The U.S. declared a public health emergency in January 2020 and authorized emergency SNAP allotments each month as a result. For most beneficiaries, the additional allotment boosted their SNAP benefits by about $100. Less than two days before the emergency was set to expire on April 15, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services announced a 90-day extension. Many states prepared for the emergency situation to end and 36 states pledged to extend SNAP benefits, offering a preview of what may happen when the emergency does expire. Once the public health emergency declaration wear off, emergency SNAP payments will end as well. If you need additional aid or want to plan how you'll supplement your SNAP benefits after the emergency expires, there are ways you can seek relief. Other benefit programs available. 1. WIC. The WIC nutrition program gives new moms or pregnant women extra food benefits in addition to SNAP. The income levels vary between states, but they must be between 100% of the federal poverty guidelines, but no more than 185%. You must also be determined to be at nutritional risk by a health professional, including a physician, nutritionist, or nurse. In many cases, this assessment is done in the WIC clinic for free. As long as you meet the other requirements, New mothers with kids under five can get up to $150 of free food a month. You can find the contact number for your state's WIC program on the U.S. Department of Agriculture's USDA Directory 2 Lifeline Program. Those enrolled in SNAP benefits can also get their household bills reduced. Specifically, the Lifeline program lowers the monthly cost of phone or internet service by offering a discount to qualifying low-income consumers through certain providers. Some of these providers even supply a free tablet with a discounted plan. The program provides up to a $9 monthly discount on either service for eligible subscribers and up to $34 per month for those on tribal lands. This works out to savings of $111 and $411 a year respectively. 3. Affordable Connectivity Program During the pandemic, some have relied on the Emergency Broadband Benefit, EBB, which gave eligible Americans up to a $75 discount on their broadband bills. However, that has now been phased out. But luckily, there is a new way Americans can see on their broadband bills under the Affordable Connectivity Program. The Affordable Connectivity Program provides a discount of up to $30 per month toward internet service for eligible households. That's a savings of $360 a year. To enroll, you'll need to apply online and reach out to a service provider that partners with the program. Discounts. Four, Amazon. Amazon Prime memberships are available to food stamp claimants at a discounted rate. If you verified Amazon that you receive either EBT or Medicaid benefits, you may qualify for a $6.99 per month Prime membership, which includes free two-day shipping and free streaming access. Prime normally costs $14.99 per month. 5. Inca. If you're claiming food stamp benefits, you may qualify for a discounted membership to your local Inca. Inca organizations typically offer low-income individuals and families a discount, which can apply to programs like youth sports, child care, and camps. You will likely need to prove your income to qualify. 6. Gas. It's been reported from multiple TikTok users that some gas stations offer deals on certain items for EBT card users, resulting in more points. The points can then be used to redeem free gallons of gas. Check with your local gas station to see what deals are being offered and if any purchases can earn your points toward free fuel. 7. Museums Many museums will offer discounted or free admission if you show your EBT card. Check with your local museum by calling ahead. 8. Bike Shares Some bike share programs, including Lime Access and CD Bike, offer reduced price memberships to those on food stamps. 
Line access requires customers to pay at a CVS or 7-11 store in cash, but does not require a smartphone or credit card to access the bike and scooter sharing service. CD Bike slashes its monthly membership rate from $15 to $5 for EBT holders, amounting to $120 in annual saving. How to stretch Snap Cash further? 9. Double Up Food Bucks Offered in nearly every state, Double Up Food Bucks matches your Snap dollars when you buy qualifying fruits and vegetables. This means Snap customers will get double the fruits and vegetables. Anyone who receives SNAP in Washington, D.C., and every state except Alaska and South Carolina is eligible. Alaska and South Carolina do have their own matching programs, though. 10. Clip Coupons. Specifics vary state by state, but you can use coupons with SNAP benefits at checkout. The provider's app lets you track your EBT balance instantly and presents discounts and coupons you can use. When paying, be sure to present the coupons before you swipe your EBT card to receive the benefits. 11. Start gardening. You can use SNAP benefits to buy seeds and seed-bearing plants. With some fertilizer and a green thumb, you can start growing some of your own groceries. As a result, you can cut down EBT spending on fruits and vegetables and use that money on other items. The USDA estimates you can double the value of your SNAP benefits by effectively producing some of your own food.